Okay, it's now Wednesday. Yesterday we finished putting down the packs. So let's go see if she held air. We've got the tubing pressurized to 40 PSI on both circuits. Oh, and we have some temporary lights now. As you can see, it looks like a like a maze in here. So we pressurized these yesterday at 40 PSI. And the two bay is still holding 40 and the three bay. Okay. Look at that. So there's no leaks. We didn't damage any tubes. Putting these down. A lot less fun than I was hoping. The staple tool, even though it's invaluable, definitely is frustrating. It jams a lot. And uh, we had to get a little creative around those two openings there and still keep our length. And of course I had to have the air compressor. But uh, yeah, I talked to the concrete guy. He's going to come Friday and Saturday to do his forming and get ready for it. And we should pour it beginning of next week. And uh, that's going to be pretty awesome. But you can see the tubing. You got these little angles to help it come up. It's pretty straightforward to put in. You know, the red one that goes out on a loop. Blue one that comes back on a loop. And then there'll be a valve for this bank and a valve for that bank so the two rooms could be at separate temperatures but still use the same boiler because the boiler will be mounted just above that white drain there on the wall and then all the switching and stuff will be here with the pumps it's going to be pretty cool had uh, my temporary string of lights up here it actually because it's 10 100 watt LEDs and it makes it you can read in here in the at night so yeah it's pretty funky and then I've stayed plenty far away from the lift so there's no chance of me accidentally drilling into one of these tubes and of course the new hydrant so we can shut water off when we have water so yeah, it's coming along.